the 19th Russell C. Palmer Cup at Wampanoag Country Club in West Hartford, Connecticut. A windy two days for this group of golfers. They would be fighting the conditions all three rounds, but we had some great action on day one. Putts were rolling in across the course as we see a few birdies drop here. Over on hole 17, Cody Palladino drains this long putt, something we'd see a lot of from him as the tournament continued. That helped him get to even par and stay in contention going into day two. But the real story of day one was Arthur we met and Jack Youngie, who both posted a round one score of 69 and were our co-leaders going into day two. Tommy Dallahan and Rick Dowling would find themselves in the mix after the first two rounds but would be unable to keep up with Christopher Ayers and Cody Palladino as the second day continued. Here in round three, Ayers sinks this slippery putt to keep Palladino in his sights, but Palladino, steady as ever, didn't give up any ground as he puts this one in. Wiemet had a hard time finding the bottom of the cup throughout his final round as this one looks good at first but slips by the edge. Despite some good efforts like this lag putt and his par save on the par 3 13th, he was unable to turn it on late as he recorded a final round 76, 4 over for the round and even par overall for the tournament. Ayers had 7 birdies on the front 9 across all 3 rounds. With some great putting, he turned in an even par round three, two under for the tournament. But there was no catch in this guy, as Cody Palladino had everything working for him on day two. The flat stick was locked in from both close and far range, as we see him almost birdie the par three ninth here. After finding the water on 10, Palladino pours this one in for a clutch par save. Palladino went 31 straight holes without a bogey before dropping one stroke on the par 4 14th. Here on 17 we see another par save as he's coming down the stretch. Almost ending the day with yet another birdie, Palladino stunned the field with back-to-back -back rounds of 5 under, 67s for both days. Here's what your new Palmer Cup champion had to say after the round. So I felt like the front nine, definitely on this golf course, too, you got to kind of make your move on the front nine. I was three shots back. I mean, I played okay yesterday, but was feeling like I needed to do something special. So shot four under on the front nine, and it wasn't quite blowing yet. So that was kind of my mentality. Uh, then it got really windy on the back, but I, I just, yeah, I mean, I just kept hitting solid shots. I mean, I hit a ton of greens, uh, both in the morning and the afternoon, but a ton of greens in regulation. In the morning, I maybe missed one green. Mainly it was, you know, getting off to such a good start, because I feel like if I hadn't gotten off to a good start and I knew I was trailing by three going into the, you know, the, the second and third round, it probably would have been a lot harder. Um, so it's funny how that works, you know, mentally. I made a 30-footer on the first hole to start the day, and that was sort of like, you know, just like a spark that I needed. You know, it's funny how many things I still want to get better at. You know, I look at it and I feel like, I'm, yeah, I'm playing well, but man, there's so many things that I still want to improve on. Um, and I feel like, yeah, today was a great day. I think just to showcase maybe how I've matured a lot about how to manage the ball, you know, in the wind and how to sort of hit certain shots. But um, yeah, I feel like it could be a really great year, but I still want to get better. Here's a look at the final leaderboard as Christopher Ayers coming in at two under claims second place while Jamie Sheltman quietly climbed the leaderboard in the final round, posting a 69 and securing third place at one under for the tournament. Tommy Dallahan, Rick Dowling, and Arthur Wee met all tied for fourth at even par, while Walker Lowry finished seventh alongside Anthony Guerrera and Eric Bliley at two over par. And Cody Palladino is the 2022 Palmer Cup champion.